<laughs> so when's the last time you had a good laugh? I mean that good gut pulling laugh. Was it this morning? Was it last night? Was it a week ago? Maybe it's been a while since you've even wanted to laugh. With today's current events, the many social injustice, the fight for equality and this world pandemic, it might be a little difficult to find a time of laughter. The scripture says in Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 8, there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. I'm Daryl Sims, the worship leader and executive assistant here at Light and Life West. And my question is to you today, what time is it for you? As you read through those scriptures, you can hear that there's a time for several aspects in this season we're in now. But I wanna encourage you today not to let all the bad that's going on around you infiltrate your mind. Don't let it soak and saturate your mind. For the Bible also says in Philippians 4, 6 through 8, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving let your heart's request be made unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. Finally, my brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Think on these things. If you go back to where it says, whatsoever things are of good report. I don't know about you, when I get a good report, there's some joy, there's some laughter, there's some happiness. The Bible tells us to think on these things. This means saturate your thoughts and your hearts on things that are honest, just, pure, lovely, and of good report. That means despite of whatever's happening around me, I'm not oblivious to it, but I choose not to let it control my thoughts. I choose not to let it control what I do. I choose not to let it control whether I'm gonna sleep or not. I choose not to let it control how I walk around and how I feel all day long. I'm choosing today to laugh. What's your choice? I pray that today you will allow the Holy Spirit to bring joy and laughter into your thoughts, into your home, into your workplace, into wherever you are. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you for your word that does not lie. I thank you for your word that you honor above your own name, God. And your word says today that whatever things are pure, are lovely, are just, are of good report, God, your word tells us to think on these things. So God, I pray today that you would allow us not to let circumstances get us down. God, I pray that you will lift us up, lift up our heads, lift our spirits today, God. I pray that we will not walk around with our heads hung down, or God, that we won't walk around with anger and malice in our hearts, God. I pray that you fill us up with forgiveness. I pray that you fill us up with peace. 
I pray that you fill us up with joy, God, and I pray that you even let this spill out of us into somebody else. God, even to those who may be considered enemies. God, for your word tells us to love them, to pray for them, God, and to do good towards them. So God, let your love, your love that you displayed on the cross through Jesus Christ, let that love bubble up inside of us, God, and let it bring a good report from within us. Let it bring laughter today, God. Lord, we proclaim we will be joyous, we will be happy, we will laugh today. We thank you in Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day and find your reason to laugh. <laughs>